Okay, now let's take a look at a VHDL using the standard Logic 1164 <laughs> package. Okay, all right, so what I did is I already started a project and I copied over System X. Okay, and this was from a while ago, and th this thing is doing nothing but creating a true table. Okay, so if you remember going way back, we had System X is, and then we had three inputs, A, B, and C, we had F as the output. And then all we did was we just made a true table, all right? No big deal. So now what I want to do at this point is I want to change this over, and I never want to use bit or bit vector again. I am going to use, from here on out, I am going to use the data type standard logic and standard logic vector, OK? We are going to always use those just because that's usually how you do it in the real world. But the first thing I need to do is I need to include this IEEE library and then tell it to use the standard logic 1164 package. So you just come to the top of your file where you do package definitions and you type the keyword library. It turns red, VHDL understands it. Then I do IEEE and you typically, I just do it in caps and I don't think it matters. Then you come down here and you say use and then you go IEEE dot name of the package which is standard logic 1164 and then you do dot all okay if I save that this should recognize it and let's just make sure it recognizes it boom it does what I am going to use out of there is just the data types and the data types are going to be called standard logic standard logic vector in this example I don't have any vectors so I just come in here and I can just say standard logic Notice that it turned green because it is recognized. So now I've changed these to standard logic. I'm no longer using bit. When I come down to here, this all still works. I can absolutely assign zeros and ones to the output because zeros and ones are absolutely defined within the 1164 package. That's absolutely legal. So I have just now converted this piece of cake. Let's go ahead and compile, make sure that it works. Yes, like I was saying, you also have to change this bit vector. We're no longer using that. We're using standard logic vector. And then it feels so good. I love it. Compile, select it. Aha. Now I say to you, can I run the simulation? No, of course not. Because if I do it, my test bench is still using bit and bit vectors. It's only using the standard package. So let's go into that and change it. So I'm going to go control C and I'll come into here and I'll go ahead and in my entity I'm going to put that package in. So I've now done that and now as I go through this I got to make sure that everything is no longer using bit and bit vector. We don't have any ports on our test bench so we go through that. We come down here we have a constant of time. Eh, we don't need to mess with time. That's included in the standard package. I come down to my component. Guess what? It is no longer declared using type bit. It's standard logic. And then I got to get its output. I come over to here. How about this? I come down here, signal declarations of my internal signals. I'm going to connect to it. Those are no longer bit. They are standard logic. And then I come down here and I say, OK, system X. When I do the port mapping, it doesn't look at the data type, so I leave it. I come down here, the stimulus goes through, I'm assigning zeros. That's perfectly okay because those are defined within the 1164 library package. So let's go and compile this, compile selected. Okay, let's make sure this simulates. And then what I wanna do is I wanna look at what these other values look like when you simulate them, just so you can see what they look like. Okay, so I load this puppy up. I'm gonna go add to wave signals in region. And I go ahead and sim this bippy, bippy, sim this yuppie, 400 nanoseconds onto here, boom. I look at it, ones and zeros. Oh, let's do that again. Let's, let's go boom, boom. Okay, so I got my fellas on there. It looks like it's asserting for rows one, two, and three. I always do my combined signal thing. So I go, I'm a ba. I would say life is so good. I knew these guys. I say, how you doing? Life is good. Let's go back now, and I've done it. I mean, that's really all the extent of what you'd need to see, but wouldn't it be cool if I did this? <clears throat> how about for rows one, two, and three, we, we assign it a one? But then, let's see what happens when I do this. 
when it is 100, zero, zero, let's assign f z and see what that looks like in a simulation. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to my library, or excuse me, project, and I'm going to compile, select it. Oh, it was successful. I come to my wave. I go ahead and restart this puppy by hitting the restart button. <laughs> I go ahead and run this, and I want to see what a Z looks like when I run. Oh, look at this. It's blue. Look at this. So as I move the cursor along here, I start noticing that it's like, okay, over here is with the current value where the cursor is. So I pull it along, and all of a sudden it goes from a 1 to a Z. It went right in between. That is really what high impedance looks like. If you didn't connect anything to the line and it was high impedance, and you were able to magically look at the voltage without connecting an oscilloscope to it, and you basically touched it with an oscilloscope without touching it, it would look like it's just floating in between a 1 and a 0. Okay? It's not a 1, it's not a 0, it just kind of floats in the middle. The reason I say you can't touch an oscilloscope to it is because as soon as you touch one with an oscilloscope, the oscilloscope will pull it one way or the other. It will actually pull it to the, the internal voltage of the oscilloscope. So that is a pretty representative thing right there. Let's look at the other ones. Let's go back here and say, what about, what are other ones that look cool? Well, let's do it. Let's go, how about U? You want to do a U? Yeah. How about a uh, X? I like X. Let's go, I mean, the uh, value. Then I come along and I say, <laughs> nobody got that. So I come along and what's another cool one? Let's do L. Zero. So Z, U, X, L. All right, so we come along and go boom. I come over to here, compile, selected, come back to my wave. I restart her up, boom. Not, I restart by hitting the restart button. Come over here, boom. Oh, look at this. All right, so U just looks like a red line, okay? X looks like a red line, and then L looks like a low dotted line, a low dotted line. All right, that's interesting. Let's see. What are the other ones that we haven't looked at yet? All right. Let's do it. You want to look at, oh, I have them right in front of me. How about a W? <laughs> how about a don't care? And then how about an H? And that should round it out. That lo That's every one that we've covered. So I go boom to the boom, compile, selected. And then I restart this puppy. I go boom by hitting the restart button, and then I go boom. Oh, look at this, looking kind of funky. So I come along, this is what a W looks like. It's right in the middle. Then this is what a don't care looks like. It's in the middle dotted blue. This is a high, which is a dotted high, and then this is a low dotted low. Let me ask you this as we wrap this up. What is a high and a low? It's a weak high and a weak low, meaning that you implement that by using large valued pull-up resistors on the line. That's to, you use this whenever you have a situation where when nobody's driving the line, you don't want it floating. You don't want it zing all over the place. <clears throat> you want to say, if nobody's driving it, pull it up to a one or pull it down to a zero by attaching a large resistor to it. The large resistor has very low drive strength, but it will pull it up to a logic one then if anybody comes along and tries to drive it to a zero using a transistor, it easily pulls it down. So the reason it's dotted is because if nobody's driving this thing, it's a one. But if anybody else comes along and tries to drive it, they win. Okay, So it will resolve to whoever's driving it. Okay, so that is 1164 in VHDL, and that is it.